Well, it only took jurors a little over an hour this evening to decide that a local father was guilty of abusing his child. Eric Penland was charged with shaking his then infant son so violently two years ago, the boy is now blind and permanently disabled. I was there as the verdict was read in a courtroom full of emotion. It's our top story at 11. We, the jury, find the defendant, Eric Penland, guilty of endangering children. Eric Pendlin stood emotionless as Mahoning County Common Pleas Judge Jean D'Onofrio read the guilty verdict twice. A verdict announced to a nearly silent courtroom packed full of emotion, being felt not only by friends of the victim. I thought I could get to see his first steps. I thought I could get to see him go to school and um, have a life. And he got that taken away from him. But also the prosecutors who say they were brought to tears preparing for the trial. This baby was three months old and for him to have sustained these types of injuries and now his life is just, you know, it, it's destroyed and it's just, this was a bad one. Yeah. This child's life is changed forever. He's now permanently disabled. He can't see, he can't hear. He'll be on a feeding tube the rest of his life. Hannah Schulte knew the baby from birth and is glad to see the guilty verdict, but says nothing can take away from what Pendlin did to his son. I know that at the end of the day, even though he lost everything, he still deserved it. And even though they got justice, prosecutors say this was still a very difficult case. Especially when neither of the parents were in any way in support of this baby. The baby who is now in the care of the state living in a therapeutic foster home. Even though he will not have a normal life, he can have a happy life. And that's all I can wish. And as Eric Pendlin left the courtroom in handcuffs, his blank stare couldn't overpower the message that Schulte leaves for his son. You are important and that your life has value. Never forget that. Even though the worst thing happened, don't forget it. McLaughlin tells me the sentencing hearing has not been set yet, but Pendlin could face up to 11 years in prison. He's currently being held in the Mahoning County Jail without bond.